So now that I have my blade forged out, it's uh, actually not bad. I had a little more steel here than I needed. So what I'm gonna do is like cut this out, just nail grinder, then take the grinder, cut down all the sides so that way it fits the way I want. Grind the flats smooth because that's what I'm doing for this blade. That's gonna be a pain, but I'm gonna do it. Hopefully it won't take much. Fingers crossed on that one. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna of course put my bevels in and go from there. I sanded everything out, and as you can see, I have this nice uh, marker drawing on it. That's basically so I'm, well, the plan is to etch it, so it has this nice pattern in it. This is made for a friend she mentioned. She liked this look on my uh, Vorpal blade that I made a while ago. So I'm like, I might as well do it on this one. I think it might look cool, add a nice unique pattern to it. Definitely be something that'll be eye-catching. So I'm gonna go dip this in ferrochloric acid and get back to you. I wonder what's looking in vinegar. I'm not experimenting on this knife though with that, but I'll do the pride of that eventually. That's like way off topic though. Okay, so I uh, have some handle scales cut out. I sort of cut them to shape just because it was a massive piece and I just did it all once with the reciprocal handle saw. Also some holes drilled out, 3 16 and that's like 3 8 which makes it to where 3 of seven magnum shell will fit through it, which will make kind of like a brass ring. Got some JB Weld mixed up, and I'm gonna coat this in it. 
and then dip my pins in as well, shove them through, and then clamp it down and wait for the dry. So I will get back to you when I'm done with that because of all things, this gift, that's a pretty typical one for me. There's not much to watch. Just knocked one of my clamps over. Okay, so I have my handle glued together. I already cut down the pins and the shell casing there, just the hacksaw. I don't know why I never used it in the past. It was so easy. I was just using a grinder and that like doesn't work. Don't use a grinder. So I'm not gonna lie, I really like the way that looks. I put a bit of oil on it because this said silver night is very humid, you know, Iowa summers. So I didn't want to rust, especially with you know all the uh you know work that went into that. So uh, I'm gonna clean all the dust and stuff off because I'm about to clean up that so it's gonna get very dusty. So what I'm probably gonna do is just take my end grinder and take the flap disc on it and do most of the work with that. I'm not gonna lie, that seems to be the most effective compared to everything else I've done. So I'm going to uh, get the end grinder set up and put this back in the vise and get it really sharpened. 